Oz, come over here. They want to put me and the clock on TV. Good Lord, we can't appear on TV with that hideous thing. Everyone we know watches this program. Well, well thank God I didn't bring along that, that dreadful mounted jackrabbit's head with the antelope horn. Oh, yes, the jackalope. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Texas's answer to the Minotaur. Oh. So, what do you think about that, boys? They said they've never seen anything like it. Dad, you know, this could go either way. Oh, yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to act like one of those saps I always make fun of. doesn't matter if it's worth $2 or $2,000. i am just going to say that's pretty much what I figured. Tape's rolling. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, OK, OK. Uh, guys, uh, which one of you wants to come and hold it? No, no, Dad, we wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> this is your moment. Okay. Everybody ready? Action. <laughs> Actually, it's much more than that. It's Russian, made in the mid-19th century. That's pretty much what I figured. Actually, it's a stunning piece. It was made by Andrei Karagin, who worked for Tsar Alexander II. That is pretty much what I figured. I don't know if you're descended from the Romanovs, Martin, but all of Karagin's known bear clocks were done exclusively for the Romanov family and are now in the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. Martin, you may be surprised to learn that this clock at auction would easily bring $25,000. Ka-ching! <laughs> oh, what he means is, that's pretty much what we figured. Oh, Dad, uh, Niles just reminded me of something I'd completely forgotten. Um, when the appraiser mentioned that the bear was from Russia. Oh, mm. yeah, well, it probably got passed down through your great-great-grandmother. She was from Russia. Aha, uh -huh. and he said something about the, um, Romanov family? Oh, yeah, that, huh? Sure you want to hear about this? Yes, Dad. <laughs> well, I guess you would have found out anyway after I died. We're royalty. But I didn't want you to grow up spoiled, so I abdicated and took a job in Seattle on the police force. <laughs> it was kind of hard giving up that royal way of life, but I think maybe it's the swans that I miss most. Very funny, Dad. Point taken. Sherry Niles, please. Uh, sorry to disappoint you. I know you'd rather be anything in the world except cranes. Oh, Dad. Now, that is just not true. We are proud to be cranes. It was just... Innocent curiosity. Well, I gotta go call Duke, but don't get excited. He's not a real Duke. And Frazier has left the building.